question recently about uh, gradients in Adobe Captivate and uh, specifically this particular user is using Adobe Captivate 8 and they were curious about um, making more choices for gradients because of course when you select an object like this and plop it down on your, your slide there's a, a finite number of gradients that you can choose from and they were curious if, the, if these gradient types were editable at all. And I thought I'd just do a quick video to show you how you can edit the style of gradient that you're working with. If you right click on a smart shape, and this is true for Adobe Captivate 8 and Adobe Captivate 9, you can actually click on Edit Gradient. And it's going to draw a line here which you can now then modify by changing its position and moving it around and doing all kinds of interesting things to it. So you could create the effect of, of a weird shadow or you could have it much more natural and on a strange angle and do all kinds of neat stuff with that gradient. So there's a lot more choices than just the defaults that are built into Adobe Captivate. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help building your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at paulwilsonlearning.com. Follow me on Twitter at paulwilsonld. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.